SDTM Checks package is to help detect and investigate potential analysis relevant data issues in your clinical trial data. This is performed using set of data check functions. These check functions are intended to be generalizable, actionable, and meaningful for analysis. In this video, I'll review the basic functionality of this package. Specifically, I'll show you how to install the package, explore the STTM checks meta data set, run one of the check functions, run all the checks at once and review the findings. Finally, write results into an Excel file for easy sharing. Everything I'll review today is in the get started vignette on the STTM checks website. First, let's navigate to an R session and create our script. First, let's install the package by using the command provided on the get started page on the STTM checks website. I will skip over this step as I've already installed the package. Next, load the package. I will also go ahead and uh, load the deployer package here as well. Once the package is loaded, user can navigate to the package help page with the following command. Navigate to the help tab and click on each of the reference links to learn more about them. Let's click on the STTM checks meta. The STTM checks meta data set is helpful for end users. It's a data set listing each check functions and contains descriptions and other metadata on each check. Rows of this data frame represents each checks and column contains different information about the checks. For example, check name, category, priority or domains were used for the STTM checks, etc, etc. Let's look at the STTM checks meta more carefully. Let's type this in and load the STTM checks data frame. As you can see, at this moment, there are about 106 STTM check functions. We have five different type of categories for each checks. Check specific to oncology, COVID, patient reported outcome, ophthalmology, or checks that could be useful for all therapeutic areas. We have high, low, and medium priorities for each of these checks too. Priority level is decided by the developer of the check function. Now, let's run one check functions and try to go over the results or issues detected by the function. Here, I have preloaded dummy STTM datasets. User can replace it with their study STTM domains. Let's assume we have a study where treatment arm information should be populated for every single patient in the demographics domain. The check, check DM arm CD will perform this check and output any issues if it is detected. As you can see, we call the function check DM arm CD provided DM STTM domain as an argument to this function. Let's run it. There is one data issue was detected, patient 200,005, arm CD information is missing for this patient. Now we have seen how to run an individual check. Let's run all the checks in the STTM package. The run all check function will run all the checks that are part of the STTM checks package for you. You can subset on only specific checks of interest, categories of interest or priority of interest. If I only wanna run high priority checks, then I can remove the low and medium choices. If I only want to run oncology and all therapeutic related checks, then I can remove the COVID patient remote outcome and ophthalmology choices. Let's run the code so all the STTM check functions, STTM check functions can run. In your console, you can see what checks were run. Also, if run all check does not find a specific domain, it will print out relevant message as well. Remember that run all checks will look for data in your global environment. We have saved the resulting object into my report. It's a list object. Each check results is saved in a slot of the list. Let's investigate few checks by calling on the SCTM function name. First, let's, let's check out check AE AE decode function. This function checks if there are missing AE dictionary derived terms, AE decode in your AE STTM domain. As you can see, three issues were detected when we ran this function. We found that there are three records where the AE dictionary derived term is missing. In the console, you can see the relevant patient ID, onset date and verbatim terms. Let's call on one more. Check LB, LB, STR, ESU. This check will look for missing units in the lab domain. As you can see, there are about 22 
records where the units are missing. User can take this information and possibly have this corrected before any key analysis milestone. Finally, we can write results in an Excel file using report to XLSX function and shared with our stakeholder for easy review. We will so supply our my report list object to the results argument and Excel file name in the out file argument. The Excel file will be so stored in your directory. Each tab in the file is for a function that resulted with an issue. There is also a convenient helper function called create R script that will write out a user friendly R script with all the check functions calls. Whatever the file name you supply in the file argument, the file will be saved based on that name. Again, the file will be saved on your directory. You can go ahead and review this R script. Hopefully this video provided you a good introduction to STTM checks package and its utility. We hope that you incorporate STTM check package in your study to detect any possible data issues that can help you clean up your study data prior to key reporting milestone. Thank you for watching.